Perfect, thank you. If you really want enlightenment, then just lighten up. Thank you for listening. This is a collaborative production between WolfSpiritRadio.com, JourneysWithRebecca.com, StealingTheMoon.com, ReverbNation.com forward slash Snowflake, as well as LegalMusicSearch.com. We realized integrated human, human beings, and and this is what we've lost. We've lost our humanity. That's the bottom line. Yeah, and you know, there's a huge rash of that going on, literally, even as we speak. There's, and, and the inhumanity towards each other just is, 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 is just absolutely, it breaks one's heart when, when, when you're sitting and witnessing it. Um, and, and it's true, we, we have lost our humanity. Many have lost their humanity. As much as we're talking about this darkness in the, in the soul and those, those things that, that are going on, I, I want to go back to the point of the integration for just a minute. Because when you are in those moments of integration, when you look at the one that you call the dominator, the one that is the abuser, the one that is uh, the harmful, hurtful one, um, you look at it through new eyes and realize in those moments what that, what I guess what the psychology is and what that mindset is of the individual who is dominating you. Once you have walked through that and you've seen it, and you've seen what that driving force is, that darkness, that shadow self that seems to be the prominent uh, display of character, you, you no longer have the fear of it. Well, not only that, I, um, uh, uh, you go back into the trauma, and you have, once you fully realize the trauma and had your time to fully express it, I, I mean, that, you have to you know, have your time to fully express your truth of how it was. But when that's done and you're ready for the rewrite, you don't just rewrite it, but you have your abuser rewrite it. You look into his heart and see what he was willing to let go of. And, and they come forward a lot of times and they apologize for what they've done to you. And they want to grow a heart. It shocks me. We, we, you see, we can't, we are moving out of duality. You know, it, this is healing for all levels because we can even help the dark side to heal. I'm not saying they all want to do that immediately. Some of them are going to fight to the end. There are a lot of them that are actually, uh, this totally shocked me, that they could grow a heart. And it was very, very real. So the potential, because ultimately this is all evolution. Ultimately, we're moving into the oneness. Ultimately, the ego will no longer have to serve the selfish. And we, we're coming out of separation. The ego was a tool of separation. Now the ego, ego will be twice born to serve the higher self in all aspects. The victim, the perpetrator, we all became disempowered around this. And so it, uh, we, we can empower not just ourselves, but if they're ready, the people that abused us, and if we are willing to move to that kind of... And we're shifting into a completely new paradigm, and the healing is unprecedented. I noticed it uh, in, on October 29th when Calamine said this is the end uh, of the Mayan calendar. And energetically, what I felt at that time is, oh, there's no more energy in the old story. Life is just not going to support the old story. Done. 
but there's a huge amount of wonderful energy supporting the new story for those of us who can let go, who can face it full on, who can forgive, who can find the love at, for all life and step forward. And, uh, and I mean, look what's happening now. I mean, there is, when we say that what is happening, uh, a lot of people are talking about this alignment with all this. There is an alignment that whatever has been in the unconscious of humanity is now coming to consciousness, whether we like it or not. And either you make it conscious or uh, you will act it out. Uh, but at least it's, it's like, you know, the vault of all the darkness, all the, all the secrets, all the skeletons in all the closets of all the lifetimes of all time are open and it's curling up. So this is a great time to be doing work on yourself because it's owning you, not blaming others. Because you will, if this is such a strong energy, it is that it will take you on a horrific ride and you will just blame and project the contents of this on everyone and everything, which is of course what's happening. The world stage, these horrible nightmares, all the apocalypse. It's all the unowned content of our own shadow. And as each one of us goes, oh, that lives in me as me, and we can transmute that and love it all to death, then uh, then it, we are no longer in the tail spin of this thing as it dies. But there is no escape. I mean, you know, in this lifetime, there were, you know, times when you could chill and it wasn't so heavy. And, oh, yeah, you knew you had to deal with that addiction or that bad habit or that horrible relationship. But, you know, you could go have a drink or... You, you, there, there was a kind of time when you could just be in the middle, hanging out. And that time is gone. Yeah. And this is all over the world. Yeah. And you will, and people are, the ego is is going through its death throes, the separation. Yeah. And it, it can get very, very ugly, but it could be very, very transformative because you don't have to dig nearly as hard to get to what's going on. And the transmutation is at rocket speed compared to how it was even 10 years ago. Oh, for sure. I have to agree with that one. Yes, yes, yes. And that's, that's a good point, is that we, it's not something that you have to work on for years and years and years. This is something that can happen in, in, in almost instantaneously to maybe a few weeks for each yes. walk through it. Absolutely. Yes. The technologies of transmutation are becoming more and more advanced. This whole rewriting of, our, of these traumas, at whatever level you're doing it at, uh, you pull the energy out of the trauma, you break the pattern up, it no longer becomes the default setting for a lot of your behaviors, and, and it moves over into, yes, this is a part of me, but it, it's no longer impacting your reality in the same way, and it can happen very quickly. Uh, it can be very rapid, I, and all I would hope is that, that rather than trying to get rid of the shadow or get rid of... That it's, it's a different level now. It's, it's loving it all it's, and through consciousness, integrating it all, reconfiguring it through love because we are entering this, well, we call it the fifth dimension, this unconditional love zone, the zone of total integration, complete compassionate healing. This is palpable for any human being that wishes it. And I think that is the whole point here, is, is that you, you, you must know that you can achieve this. It's not that difficult. It really is yeah. not that difficult. Yeah. It's not even scary, especially when you walk through this process with somebody else. 